Today we have this iPad Pro 12.9 inch first generation device that has no touch screen after a screen replacement attempt. When we try to slide the notification to the right screen, we get no reaction. Let's open the device and perform a proper diagnosis. Step one, disconnect the battery to prevent short circuits. Step two, check the touch screen connector. As you can see, there are two components that look burned. Let's refer to the diagram to identify them. According to the software, the affected components are filters. Filters are typically designed to handle specific levels of current and voltage. If the current passing through a filter exceeds its rated capacity, it can generate excessive heat, which can potentially lead to component failure and even burning. Overcurrent can occur due to faults in the circuit, short circuits, or excessive load. To test a filter using a multimeter, set the multimeter to the continuity or resistance OHEMS mode. Let's start with this filter. When we touch the test leads to either end of the filter, we do not hear a beep and the multimeter displays OL. This indicates that the filter has no continuity and needs to be replaced. Now let's test this other filter. The multimeter beeps and it shows a very low resistance value, close to zero ohms, confirming that the filter is intact and conducting electricity. In this case, we do not have an iPad Pro 12.9 donor motherboard so we will use a filter from an iPad 7th generation. We remove filter L4180, which is related to the iPad 7th's image circuitry. Then we remove the blown filter and install the donor filter on our customer's iPad. We test the filter one more time and it shows continuity. We connect the screen, turn on the tablet, and the touch functionality is now restored. Do you want to learn how to perform this and other micro soldering repairs? Visit our website for our upcoming five-day training schedule. We also offer private one-on-one -on -one classes. For more information, visit us at cellphonerepairacademy.com.